Hi, Simon of Vance today, going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2019 Peugeot Boxer 2 litre HDI. A professional model, professional model is the top spec with all the bits on it that everybody wants. Um, one that keeper from new has arrived to us direct off lease, has covered 40, um, I think it's 44,000 miles, I'll confirm that for you in a second. Uh, in good all-round condition, um, you're seeing it as it's arrived in with us. We've not valeted it yet, we've just not touched it one bit. It's come direct from lease, uh, they've not valeted it either. So obviously bear that in mind, it's only ever going to look better than uh, what you see it in this video. Um, we are running very much behind at the moment in valeting and preparation uh, with the demand being so great for vans. Um, so here we go then, one owner. Uh, we'll start off front end. Up there on your roof cone, as you can see, no damage up there, all clean and tidy. Coming down here onto the bonnet, bonnet is all good. We have a stone chip here, uh, and oh no, that's a bit of bird muck. So stone chip here with a little ding in the bonnet, if I'm honest, uh, but that's what you've got. And that is just a blue mark that is rubbing off with my finger. Um, so that's the only mark on the bonnet. Headlamp unit itself, good secure condition and in good condition. Driver's side front bumper corner, again, good condition, no scuffs. Coming around to the front, grille, uh, secure and in good order. Passenger side front bumper corner, again, uh, nice, uh, nice condition with no scuffs. Passenger headlamp unit's all good, nice and secure again as well. And then if we look down the passenger side of the vehicle here, starting from the top and moving down, hopefully you can see there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. All good on the body, this one. Steel wheels all need a very good clean. Um, tire, as you can see, has plenty of tire tread depth on it. Uh, obviously all, all the valeting side of things will get cleaned. Uh, passenger front wing, all good. Passenger mirror unit, all good. Indicators in one piece. Mirror unit itself secure and the mirror is all good. Passenger door, all good. Uh, that was a, I think that's a bit of tar on the door there. That'll come off uh, and obviously a bit of dirt. Uh, the rubbing strip, which goes all the way down the passenger side of the vehicle. A couple of minor marks on it, but nothing substantial. And also whilst we're down here, as you can see the sill, going down the passenger side of the vehicle all good with no dents on it passenger door handle all good we have the lightest of lightest of dings there on the passenger door stand back from a distance you can't see it but it is there and we do do warts and all on the videos glass on the passenger doors all good up the top there sliding door coming down all clean and tidy. A couple of bits of tile on it and stuff, but that will come off with the valet. And then passing, oh, there is a small mark here, uh, which I think we just get touched in. I don't think it's worth doing anything more than that on it. It's that minor. Uh, rear quarter, again, top to the bottom. Um, clean and tidy. Nothing to point out to you from a cosmetic point of view. Your sliding rail is in good condition. And steel wheel on the back end, it's dirty, but obviously it'll get cleaned off. There's minor bits of corrosion on it, but that's steel wheels for you nowadays. Um, but obviously that'll all get cleaned up, so that'll be nice and silver again. Your rear tyre, we'll double check, but looks like it's got loads of tyre tread depth on there. Uh, rear bumper corner, again, no scuffing or marks in the plastic. Let's just go back down here. We'll open up your passenger door. So door cards, again, uh, they need a valet, but they're all in good order. Passenger door step getting into the vehicle, the paintwork and the plastic sill itself is in good order. And your passenger flooring is all good. Glove box passenger side opens up here, book pack is in there as well. Dashboard, again, needs a clean. You have a, another 
part of the dash in there as well. Uh, the glove box in there, upper glove box is in there. Top of the dashboard's all good, no work boots being on there. Passenger seat, uh, you have your toolkit underneath here. And the seat itself, the cloth, as you can see, is in good order. Going up to your headlining, again, nice and clean and tidy. I'll run you through the dashboard and stuff from the driver's side when we get round to there. Sliding door, so bulkhead, minor marks on the bulkhead from loading stuff in and out of the vehicle. Up there you have your additional storage over and above your cabin. Ply lining in the back of this vehicle is nice and tidy and clean, as I say, it's just as it's arrived in, so uh, it's all in good order. We have a bit of minor marking at the bottom of your passenger side rear door, but the ply lining in the back of it, clean and tidy. Passenger rear light unit, all in good order. Coming around to your rear bumper. So your rear bumper, as you can see, has reverse parking sensors fitted to it. They do work. You'll be pleased to hear. Minor marks of scuffing of getting boots in and out of the vehicle. In actual fact, with a clean and some uh, bumper gel on it, um, it won't really be noticeable as it isn't standing back from here. Rear barn doors on the back of the vehicle. Again, rear doors are in nice condition. Quite often, you'll see quite a few dents and dings on rear doors from working them but we have one minor little ding here on the rear door that's the only mark I think on the back end of the vehicle and we have a really minor one there as well uh, that is from opening up the rear doors and just letting them swing around and hit the side of the vehicle so back into the inside of the vehicle basically from doing that uh, which I've just done so back end of the vehicle again from a different point of view you can see yes it's done a job but I think it's done it well hasn't it really um, we have ply lining on the back of the doors okay we have damage down here which is quite common on them from uh, just slamming the door against the back of the van there uh, needs a bit of adjustment on the lower door there i think um it sits and sits well door's not loose or anything like that but there is that mark there i'd rather point it out to you than not and then looking down the driver's side of the vehicle again from the top going downwards no dental dings nice and clean and tidy uh, Driver's side bumper corner, no scuffing. Driver's side light unit again in good order. Steel wheel this side again needs a clean. Tires all good as well. And then rubbing strip going down the side of the vehicle, this side and the seal. You can see all good. No major marks on there at all. Driver's side rear quarter this side, top to bottom good mid corner uh, mid panel again all good and then coming through to the front roof corner driver's door glass door itself rubbing strip itself a bit of mud splash down the bottom there that's all that is and then passenger front wing again nothing major on there steel wheel on the front again needs a good clean tires all good Mirror unit, driver side, all good. Indicator, mirrors, etc., all good. Driver's door handle and lock is all good. Opening it up on the driver's side. Door card, again, good order, needs a clean. But as I say, this is the video as it's arrived in. Hence the reason why this step looks particularly dirty. We have a little bit of wear down here from boots hitting it, getting in and out. Very, very common on these Peugeots. We can get that resolved for you. That's not a problem. We do have the normal wear underneath your uh, boots on the driver's side. Why people do not fit rubber mats to these things from new, I don't know, but they don't. You buy a rubber mat off eBay to cover that over for 30 or 40 quid, I think. They're not big money at all. Uh, handbrake obviously is on this side. Uh, driver's seat clean and tidy. 
no undue wear or tear on the bolsters. And then the dashboard itself, as I say, on the top of it, etc. All good. Now, great thing about these Peugeot Boxer Enterprise models are great specification to them. So um, we have your lift up thing on the front here so you can you know put your paperwork on there should you wish that folds down we have the inbuilt peugeot navigation system which is based on the tom tom device hit the navigation button there that takes you through to your navigation screen uh, it's just going to take a couple of extra seconds to find the tom tom because where the garage is in a bit of a bowl when it comes to um, picking up signals um Air conditioning, all important. Uh, as I say, nav unit is there as well. Uh, you do have, uh, we've got, I think we've got DAB uh, on your stereo system there as well. So you've got DAB, FM and AM. You have Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music and you have an inbuilt TomTom sat-nav system. Air conditioning is here. And ASR, hazard warning lights, central locking, uh, heated mirrors and then cup holders are down here you have a USB power point there as well six-speed manual gearbox uh, cruise control with speed limiter through here if you can see it there we go multi-function steering wheel uh, being delivered into us with no fuel in it typical uh, 44,000 miles as you can see no undue wear or tear to the steering wheel that's all in good order as well. And electric windows and mirrors over here. So, um, quick refresh. It is one keeper from new, 44,000 miles, 2019 Peugeot Boxer, two litre HDI Euro 6 professional model uh, with electric windows, mirrors, reverse sensors, sat nav, Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth music, cruise control and speed limiter. Um, uh, balance of Peugeot warranty to it uh, as well uh, through till 2022. Um, L3 H2 model. Uh, there will be 50 to 60 photos going up on our website. It will be in the queue to be valeted as well. So uh, keep an eye out for the fresh photos when it's valeted. That won't be this week, it'll probably be next week. Um, if I can be of any further help, feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080. Email me sales at vanstoday.com. Check us out on the internet. We are on Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, etc. etc. Thanks for looking at the video. I'll speak to you later.